All right. Okay, so on top of having thread along the top of the machine, we also need to have the bobbin feeding thread from the bottom. Now, the bobbin is basically one of these little spools. Um, you won't need to wrap some thread around it so that we can place it underneath. Um, now, every machine is going to be a little different. Uh, this one here has a little door. Now, as you see, the foot of the machine's in the way, so I'm gonna lift this up and open it up. And now we can see this is actually where the bobbin lives. So I can simply lift up and, oh, this is a really cheap bobbin, a little clear plastic thing. So what we need to do is uh, learn how to fill a bobbin because at some point you're gonna need to know how to do that. So to fill a bobbin, we need thread. Now I highly recommend and uh, I insist that you use the same thread to fill your bobbin that you're going to use up at the top. So if we start off with our spool on the spool pin, then instead of following the usual path, you'll find there's one of these little knobs here. So we're going to go around and back, right where we came from. And the thread is going to go back to this funny looking thing. That's our bobbin winder. So we are going to place this empty bobbin onto the winder. I'm going to cut the thread so I don't have too much hanging off. And this thread is going to go into the bobbin. And I usually like to go up and out. I'm going to pull this thread up a little bit. And now I'm just going to get rid of the slack here. So Myth take two. Mythbusters. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to take the thread, feed it through the bottom. Try to feed it through the bottom. Hire someone with small fingers to feed it through the bottom. There we go. Push this back down. And now what we need to do is push the winder into this little plastic wheel. This plastic wheel is going to make sure that the thread doesn't jump off the bobbin as we're winding. So now for this next part, you need to have the machine on. So the machine's already on, and the pedal's right here. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press on the pedal very gently. Now this happens fast. And as you see, well, okay, see this part? Once I've started, I don't need all this extra thread anymore. So I'm just gonna cut the excess off. And now, it's just a matter of letting the machine do the work by itself. Now, as it's winding, I'm going to keep an eye on it and make sure that the thread doesn't build up on one part of the bobbin. But with a decent machine, as you see, the thread's moving up and down and making sure that it fills nice and evenly. I love this part, it's mesmerizing. All right, so um, don't need a lot of thread on here. We're going to release this, lift it up. And now we have a bobbin with thread on it. Perfect. So now we can place this into the machine. Now, before I do this, we're going to take a little look at this little plate here. We're going to take a look at the top of the machine. Now this particular machine actually has instructions right on it as to how to load the bobbin. So in this case, we place the bobbin into the hole. And as per instructions, first we bring it back to, I'm gonna use this wire here to indicate where. Right here, there's actually a little hook. So I'm going to hook the thread behind this hook and then pull it this way. Then I need to bring it back into the center right here. So you see how the thread went through this little hook. And now all I need to do is place this little door back on. Sorry about getting my big ass hands in the way. Close this up. And now Okay, this, is, this part gets a little tricky. Um, I'm gonna use the thread from the top 
to catch the thread on the bottom. So let me rewind it really quickly here, give you a refresher. The thread from the top goes through number one, number two, down number three, around number four, back up to the top, catches through here. Now, a lot of these machines, you have to feed it manually through this part. This is the fancy one. You can just hook it through. And then as we come down to the bottom, as you see, first we hook it through here. Then we hook it through here. And finally, we need to feed that through the needle. So my handy dandy needle threader. I'm so bad at this, I can barely get the threader in. All right. Now I'm going to take the thread, feed it into the threader, pull the threader out, and now we have thread coming out the back. Okay, so the thread that comes out of the needle, I'm going to lift this foot up here. Now, if you want to know how I do that, let's take a look at the back of the machine. There is a little tab here that allows you to raise or lower the foot. And sometimes to be able to reach the needle, you may need to move this up and down. Uh, you also obviously need to open it to be able to feed the fabric into the machine. So uh, for the rest of this operation, I'm just going to leave it open. And the thread, once it goes through the needle, I want to bring in between the two little claws of the foot. Mm -hmm. So these little feet down here are going to press, down, press the material down. So I want to have the thread going through the needle, down, and back. So when the machine's set up properly, you'll have a piece of thread pointing straight back. Now, the bottom one, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make sure that there's lots of thread sticking out the back. I'm going to hold that top thread. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to rotate the balance wheel on the far end of the machine. So I'm going to rotate this around. And as I do, watch what happens. So first the needle is going to go down, and then when it comes back up, it'll have done a little magic trick. Now if I pull on this, and uh, I might have to hold both sides of the string here, but at some point, oh, here we go. Now when I pull on this, now you'll see it pulled some thread out from underneath. So my trick, I'll reach in here with a pair of scissors. I'm just going to slide from here underneath, back through this way. Oh, I have to catch that hoop that's sticking up. All right, now, as you see, we have thread coming out of the bobbin underneath. And now if we tangle that with this, we'll have sewing. So, insert fabric, close it, and off we go.